thank you to come back just in time for the second one. Uh, this, um, you know, we, we're really into a tree because today we have two fantastic, uh, 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 quite, quite different uh, talks by uh, Professor Ling. And this particular uh, 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 lecture, she's talking about Taiwan Manjiu Guo and the Sino Japanese War. Uh, I think that's why it's actually the topic so wide ranging. It attracting different people here. Um, okay, maybe we should start. Uh, and after an hour, then we will have uh, actually quite a dedicated time, we said, for Q&A. Okay, and um, thanks for Lin, Lin Jiao again. And should we give her another round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming again. And then uh, after the series treaties, uh, let's go to the three beauties. Uh, Mm. Uh, at the very beginning for the second talk, uh, this is the top beauty of Japan in the wartime period, and top beauty of uh, Beijing, and uh, top beauty of Manzhou Guo. You see, his, uh, his uh, uh, clothes still carry the motif of the Qin uh, emperor, uh, um, um, uh, imperial family, the dragons and the yellow color. Okay, uh, so the top beauty of the uh, Manzhou Guo, and uh, this is a poster provided by Taiwan Product uh, Promotion Association uh, for um, tea uh, exhibition. Uh, so this is an exhibition to be held. On it, you see, uh, uh, could someone recognize this flag? Have you of seen course. this flag? Huh? Yeah. Not uh, this flag. This flag um, is not the the flag of a Chiang Kai Shek government. Oh, Wang Jingwei. Uh huh. With a with the triangle oh. yellow uh, on the top. Uh, the, this party is uh, totally the same as uh, 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 Jiang Kai-shek government's uh, uh, natural flag, uh, but uh, on top of it, uh, there's a triangle yellow flag uh, saying anti-communism and uh, for peace. And, uh, and, and uh, this is a flag of whom? Yeah, Manchu Guo. Okay, of course this is Japan. And so, um, this is three flags were tied up uh, together and uh, to promote uh, Taiwan's uh, green tea. You see, a cup of uh, Taiwan's green tea and the sources of energy to prosper Asia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, uh, the uh, image of this poster reveals so much happiness for this girl cooperation. The uh, cooperation among Taiwan and uh, Wang regimes area and the uh, Manchukuo area in uh, Japan. Okay, this is uh, so different from opposing feelings uh, toward Japan because Manchukuo started uh, from the Mok Dam incident, which dated uh, uh, September eighteenth, nineteen thirty one. After um, 918, nine, there's also 7 7, the Marco Polo Bridge incident, uh, which uh, um, made Japan expand uh, to Beijing. So these two figures had actually grueled or sealed Chinese hatred against Japan. And uh, Taiwan people had always been taught about uh, these two figures in the early post-war period. But, but uh, where, how, how could I obtain uh, this uh, poster? Um, because uh, when I visited here, as uh, uh, Professor Darby said, uh, five years ago I visited here before, on that trip, uh, I, I had been vigorously 
uh, learn from the British Museum how to prepare for a museum exhibition. Because uh, on that trip, I had a responsibility to prepare for a museum exhibition in Taiwan. For museum exhibition, I had to have some contact with artifact collectors. This is uh, one thing collected by one artifact collectors. And uh, uh, that artifact uh, collector uh, was actually a dentist, has, was actually a dentist. Uh, some, uh, once I, um, I have a tooth problem, uh, I, I went to his uh, clinic, and this poster is uh, right uh, uh, in his uh, clinic. And then uh, right now he closes the clinic, uh, this poster was uh, in was uh, shown uh, in the um, uh, uh, kind of a coffee shop uh, 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 around uh, the artifacts uh, he collected, uh, and that coffee shop uh, was uh, located uh, um, near to the Yongkong Street of the uh, uh, East Gate of Taipei. Okay, so for this um, artifact collector. This is really something uh, uh, interesting uh, to him. But uh, this is uh, so different from the anti-Japanese uh, feeling uh, uh, we have been told uh, about the hatred against uh, Japan along the uh, 9-18 and 7-7, uh, okay? So, um, purpose of this talk is uh, to depict the trade between Manzhou Guo and Taiwan. For Manzhou Guo, we don't need to give the, the dates because it, it starts from 1932 and ends in 1945. Uh, so so uh, it is actually the wartime period. And uh, um, uh, from this trade, I would like uh, to uh, draw some implications for post war Taiwan. And this is the purpose of this talk. Um, for uh, writing this paper, some different angles have been taken. Uh, for the study of uh, colonial empires, for example, British empires or, uh, or German empire or any other empires, usually is the relations between the home colonizers and the, uh, the uh, colonies just uh, uh, this uh, bilateral relationship have been studied. Uh, this uh, study is a study on the relationship between colonies oh. and uh, together with the, the colonizer. Uh, also, uh, it's a relative relationship with other countries. Okay, so, so this is uh, one different angle. Um, uh, for in in the previous studies, we have the uh, Kyoto professor Kyoto, professor of uh, uh, Kyoto University, Hori Kazuo. Um, he mentioned that um, the um, in the 1930s, the Great Depression started from New York again, uh, Wall Street. Uh, 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 also, the same as this time. Uh, actually affected very much for Japan's move back to East Asia. Because before the Great Depression, Japan had a great uh, intimate cooperation with the U.S. Because uh, of the uh, economic uh, uh, downturn of the U.S., Japan turned back to East Asia. Uh, because of this uh, 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 turning back to East Asia, Japan uh, tightened up its relation uh, with its economies. So, again, it's uh, the bilateral relationship between the colonizer and uh, the colonies. Uh, um, for, uh, so, 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 uh, but my, my is uh, uh, di uh, somewhat different from Holy Kazo. And, uh, in depicting the trade between Taiwan and Manzhou, actually, uh, uh, Professor David Fei just uh, asked me to talk about this paper. This paper is uh, in continuous of other paper. That other paper uh, uh, gave more description about the exact trade in between. 
and uh, this paper is about implications. But uh, without the formal paper, maybe you can understand the later part, so I summarize the part of the formal paper here. And um, in this trade, uh, even though the Japanese merchants have been more dominant between Taiwan, because Taiwan had been colonized by Japan, and uh, Manchukuo was uh, had been a uh, puppet regime of Japan, so in between the trade in between actually was very much controlled or affected by Japanese government or Japanese merchants. But for Taiwanese merchants, it's still an expansion of uh, Taiwanese merchants' uh, trading uh, um, opportunities. So, in this sense, you could say. Uh, Taiwanese people were kind of uh, combing the imperial subjects, right? And uh, in the previous literature, we have so many studies about the Kominka movement. Now, what's the difference between this study and uh, the Kominka movement study? In the uh, Kominka movement study, we just know that those Taiwanese spoke Japanese at home. Or they change their their uh, last name um, uh, from one character to two characters. This is something proceeded within Taiwan. Okay, and uh, this study uh, will uh, touch some area beyond the Taiwan, and this uh, uh, area would be would actually actually be related with the sadness about uh, February twenty eighth. So, um, how come? Um, uh, let's uh, uh, move a little bit forward. Every year in Taiwan since the Lee Wei's period, on February 28th, the president of the OOC in Taiwan would apologize for the OOC government's massacre over the Taiwanese when it just arrived at Taiwan. In thinking back to this tragedy, because right now it's June, we just had uh, the last uh, February 28th, uh, the mass media will be entangled with the issue about whether it is a Jiang Kai share or is a general dispatch to Taiwan to take over Taiwan, Chen Yi, uh, who should be responsible. This is a key concern for February 28th uh, issue. Um, uh, the mass media would also regret that even compensations have been made towards the suffering families. How come? The ethnic relation between the mainlanders and the Taiwanese could not be smoothed for six decades. For curing the disease, we need to have better diagnosis of the symptom. Opposing memories of Japan for these two ethnic groups in the Sino Japanese War period has actually been sources of this ethnic congruence. The trade between Taiwan and Manchukuo will tell some of the story. Okay. So then let's move to, to the intermediate ties built in between after Manzhou was set up. Um, after uh, September 18th and, uh, of uh, 1931, in 1932, uh, the Manzhou was established. What's the difference between that the time, uh, what's the change Japan had for Manzhou Before, Japan had already some influence over Manzhou Because uh, of, uh, last, uh, talk, in last talk, we had uh, Japan's uh, victory over Qin China in 1895. After that, Japan had a victory over Russia in 1905. With that victory, Japan already took over Da uh, Lian and Shun. That means the very tip, very southern tip of uh, Manchuria. That was uh, taken by Japan in 1905. And uh, Japan started to exert its influence, for example, uh, to build uh, railways or to, to have uh, banks to influence Manchuria uh, or things like that. But it's not until uh, the September 18th that uh, Japan have uh, control all over the whole Manchuria, 
Okay, that's the change. After this uh, whole Manchuria had been uh, controlled by Japan, that Manchuria started to have a close relation, trade relation with, uh, with Taiwan. Um, in Qin period, actually there are some, some trade in between. In Qin, Taiwan already started to use the soybeans of uh, Manchuria. That's for agricultural fertilizer. Okay. But the uh, trade was uh, uh, not big, uh, just uh, some small trade. And then between 1905 and uh, 1931 or 32, uh, some trade had been proceeded, but, but uh, also not, not big. After uh, the uh, Manchukuo was established, you can see this chart. This, uh, uh, dark line was for Taiwan Manjogo trade. It used to be lower than Taiwan South China trade. The 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 this uh, this line is South China trade. South China was the native place of uh, Taiwanese, and Taiwanese most Taiwanese people come from Fujian, uh, or some of them come from Kent, uh, Guangdong. Um, so, uh, at the very be uh, beginning of the uh, Japanese colonial period, Taiwan still had some uh, uh, trade, uh, some more, 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 more trade with the southern China. But after the 1930s, you see, uh, the trade between uh, Taiwan and Manchukuo already uh, uh, superseded uh, that of uh, Taiwan South China trade. Uh, for the, the other lines is uh, Taiwan Central China Trade or Taiwan Northern China Trade or Taiwan Southeast Asian Trade. All those cannot compete with uh, Taiwan Manchukuo Trade after the 1930s. Okay. Uh, uh, for the other trades, uh, it's not until the final final wartime period that uh, when Japan had more control over this area. And uh, uh, then they have a more trade with uh, the Japanese, uh, the, and the, with the Taiwan under Japanese rule. So that, that's uh, uh, the reason why there's uh, uh, an increase of trade in in the final year, in the later years. So this is the uh, situation of a uh, Taiwan Manchukuo trade. For trade uh, uh, directly, there must be some division of labor in between. Um, the division of uh, labor constitutes a uh, trade. And what kind of division of labor could be made in between? Uh, Manchukuo was uh, in a very cold area. Cold area people tend to, uh, tend to need to eat meat. Meat eating people tend to need to drink tea. Okay. And uh, Taiwan is a tea producing area. That's why the three beauties was drinking tea uh, there. Okay, uh, Taiwan was a, a tea producing area, and uh, uh, the cold area tend to be more lack of uh, vegetables and uh, fruits. Uh, Taiwan, uh, with its uh, tropical weather, is uh, very abundant with uh, uh, vegetables and uh, fruits. Um, and uh, on, on the other side, uh, in, from, from, from Manchuria side, Manchuria <coughs> could provide soil mean for bean fertilizer uh, for ta the growing agricultural progress uh, of Taiwan. Um, uh, uh, other than the nature fertilizer as a soybean, uh, after the establishment of uh, Manzhou <coughs> Manzhou started to have a chemical fertilizer. All those are good for the rising uh, agricultural development of a Japanese colonial Taiwan. So this is the main uh, good uh, exchange in between. And then um, about the uh, what what's the background for what to move up this this uh, trade trade usually is made by the invisible hand. 
uh, um, by the market force, but uh, um, this trade was not uh, made by invisible invisible hand. But instead, it's made by visible hand. That means it's very much affected by the Japanese government or Japanese merchants. Um, because of the, the Great Depression we just mentioned, uh, the Japanese government tried to use uh, Manchu uh, to uh, ease the the threat of Great Depression upon upon Japan's economy. Because with the Japan with the depression, then uh, then uh, there's less chance for investment, right? Uh, or less employment, less for yeah depression, and then. Uh, after taking uh, uh, Manchuria, uh, uh, Japanese uh, people started to invest a lot in Manchuria. Um, at that time, uh, between uh, 1931 to 32, of the two billion yen that uh, Japan had invested in China, 1.5 billion was invested in Manchuria. You see, um, and then. Among this investment, there's, uh, uh, the shipping companies was included. So, uh, Osaka Commercial Shipping Company reduced the shipping fees 30 to 50 percent from the 3rd of uh, December 1931 for grand shipped from, from Manchuria through this city uh, finally to Taiwan. Uh, the navigation lines were extended, very much extended. This were um, external navigation lines uh, of Taiwan around the 1911 to connect Taiwan with uh, Japan proper. Okay, and uh, around 1929, uh, more lines uh, between Taiwan and Japan proper. Around 1928, uh, uh, um, between Taiwan and at that time, uh, uh, Taiwan Chinese maintenance relationship is not like the. the Chiang Kai-shek period. Chiang Kai-shek period, totally no uh, uh, trade, uh, because uh, there's uh, the embargo, U.S. embargo in between. But uh, in the Japanese colonial period, there's a still trade between the colonial Taiwan and the Chinese mainland. And this is the navigation lines uh, to link up um, both areas. Um, but uh, it's just up to, oh, it already took up to the Dalian and the Tianjin. And then after Manzhou you see, Taiwan has been linked up with uh, uh, Korea and Manzhou much more, uh, um, with more, more um, uh, navigation lines. And uh, all those uh, navigation lines uh, uh, with uh, other area of uh, China was uh, linked up. Uh, with uh, this uh, newly developed uh, Taiwan Manzhou Korean uh, uh, navigation lines, um, not only more uh, direct uh, uh, navigation lines uh, was uh, opened, um, and, um, the shipping companies uh, also uh, provided uh, uh, faster and bigger ships in this uh, several decades. Um, so. Um, at the very beginning, nine days would be needed to cover this distance. Uh, in the end, four days, uh, it just uh, take four days to cover this uh, distance in between. And then, um, in, uh, uh, because uh, uh, for, uh, for constituting this trade, so many perishable uh, agricultural products will be carried on the ships. So on the ships, uh, uh, after the ship, uh, there's a railroad, a mountains. Uh, upon the, uh, uh, in the uh, railway station or upon on the ships, refrigeration facilities were equipped uh, for carrying on this trade, okay? Uh-huh, um, so, um, Around 1943, not only ships and uh, and railway, but also airplane. Uh, you could get uh, use one ticket to move along uh, Taiwan, Japan, 
uh, uh, Manzhou, Korea, or any other Japanese influence area with just one ticket. Uh, it's called the transportation block. Okay. Mm. Now, mm, as a consequence, as a consequence of this efforts, the expansion of the trade with Manzhou and Korea was a, oh, was a greater than that between Taiwan and Japan. I'm, I'm saying the increasing rate, and not the total amount. Total amount, of course, uh, Taiwan, Japan would, would be much greater than Taiwan Manzhou. I'm saying the increasing rate in this period um, for for Taiwan Manzhou is uh, greater than Taiwan Japan's. And then, in in considering this uh, trade, the Japanese merchants, uh, of course, uh, keep the dominant uh, position. Um, we can see uh, uh, for importing those fertilizers, uh, well, we, uh, our data shows it: Mitsui, Mitsubishi, Taisho, Kogyo, uh, Ambe, Nobu, and Kadagumi, and all this. Uh, Japanese companies uh, uh, to import the, the fertilizer uh, into Taiwan. Uh, they also import the uh, ammonium uh, sulfate from Manchuria to uh, Taiwan. And for exporting uh, Taiwan's agricultural uh, products, uh, to take sugar for example, in 1932, um, the sugar exported from Taiwan to Dalian was the product of uh, Japanese firms, uh, Meiji and uh, Shiomitsu Sugar Processing Corporation. Uh, in 1932, the heat resistant bowls uh, shifted to Manchuria from Yilan, that in, uh, in the northeastern part of Taiwan, were pro products of Asano Busan Company. So you could feel this is just for, if you go to the paper, we have uh, much more uh, evidence. Uh, just This is just give you a feeling that, uh, well, uh, Mantogo was established by Japan, and Taiwan was uh, uh, a colony of Japan. So the trade in between was actually a Japan to Japan a trade. Uh, because uh, in, in the Japanese colonial period, the sugar companies were mostly owned by the Japanese uh, 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 private companies, uh, Zaibatsu. Mm, and uh, and uh, on, on the Manchuria side, uh, 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 the Taibatsu also had uh, had an influence there, so it's a uh, uh, Taibatsu Taibatsu relationship. Um, and then, um, then uh, for those uh, uh, agricultural products uh, market, uh, we could see on um, um, previously the evidence is just for Taibatsu, and we have evidence for the Japanese government's uh, effort. Uh, for example, some uh, Japanese, uh, um, uh, for example, uh, Taizhong, uh, that's a Central Taiwan Industrial Development Section, uh, went to Manchukuo and uh, Korea for one month's visit. When he returned, he said that uh, there was a market in Manchukuo and Korea for uh, Taiwanese products. So the gov governmental uh, uh, side also uh, tried to open. So. Uh, Taiwan as well as the government, and uh, they even opened, set up the Taiwan Five Prefecture. Factor. At that time, Taiwan had a uh, Five Prefecture, uh, sales and mediation and, uh, office. Because uh, uh, in the process of uh, trade, uh, they will have some conflict, so they set up a mediation office as well as a joint mediation office to increase uh, uh, cooperation. Uh, between Manchukuo and Taiwan, or or so, or uh, within Taiwan, um, and uh, uh, in the process of uh, opening the uh, trade networks between Taiwan and Manchuria, many Japanese uh, uh, merchants initiated promotion exhibition, just uh, like uh, what the, the the poster shows, and and they they promote. Uh, 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 promotion. They, they have uh, a lot of uh, promotion exhibition. The Taipei Prefecture uh, Product Exhibition, which opened successively in the Manchuria cities of Dalian, Fengtian, uh, today's Shenyang, Xinjin, today's Changchun, and Haobin, displayed in 1935 the products including black tea, dried bamboo shoots, and seafood of Taiwan. So uh, this kind of thing. 
Um, uh, but uh, when uh, since both uh, Taiwan have uh, 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 Japanese merchants and Manjoku have uh, Japanese merchants, uh, then if uh, these uh, two sides uh, have some competition, uh, what to do? Here we have a case about the uh, coal. Uh, coal situation. You know, uh, in northern tip of Taiwan, Jilong is a coal producing area. And then some Japanese merchants cooperate with uh, Taiwanese merchants, uh, have uh, enterprises for uh, coal supply. And uh, Manchuria is a coal producing area as well. There, there's a famous uh, uh, coal mine named Fusun, Fusun Coal Mines. You know, uh, um, that Fusun coal mines even went that far, far uh, from, um, from Manchuria to, to uh, southern Taiwan. The cost is one fourth of, of uh, the cost from northern Taiwan to south Taiwan because of that the transportation facilities uh, uh, together with uh, it might be in larger scale of um, uh, 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 economy of scale because it's a, it's a bigger mines economy of scale so it's uh, less expensive than buying the northern Taiwan's uh, coals and um, the, the uh, Japanese merchants and uh, Taiwanese merchants in northern Taiwan petitioned to, to the uh, Taiwan's uh, government and uh, that petition had been forwarded to the central government of Japan to say, well, um, if Taiwan's uh, coal comes from abroad, uh, after the domestic uh, coal enterprise had been uh, beat down, mine, the, coal, uh, the frozen coal mines might raise their price. Uh, and this is uh, uh, what, uh, what the, the Taiwanese merchants and the Japanese merchants uh, said. But the Japanese emperor said, well, well Fusun is still part of the uh, Japanese empire. And for everything, we should think within the framework of the empire, not uh, only part, some, some uh, sp specific part of the empire. We should take the whole empire uh, as the framework for any decision. So the final decision is uh, Taiwan was uh, still importing the Fusun coals. Okay. Um, then uh, um, from 1932 to 1945, because uh, um, the war tension was reinforced and reinforced. So actually, for every trade, uh, the trade for every product, uh, we could see the a deeper and deeper governmental intervention. For example, uh, for the banana trade, at the very beginning, uh, the Japanese government uh, had a kind of a laser fair policy uh, for the uh, Japanese merchants or Taiwanese merchants direct, uh, to open their market by themselves and uh, for all their products. But more and more, some organization had been formed uh, 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 with uh, a greater supervision of the government over various kinds of uh, trades, no matter uh, tea, orange, uh, sugar, or, uh, or, or what, uh, vegetables. More and more uh, governmental intervention have been uh, um, developed. So, um, now, with the uh, this kind of uh, background, still, Taiwanese merchants traded. Uh, uh, for example, even those uh, bigger Japanese companies uh, traded fertilizer. Um, along with them, we can still see uh, some uh, Taiwanese merchants, for example, Jian Anyu from Taoyuan, <laughs> also traded uh, in between for the uh, fertilizer. And, the business. Um, and, uh, 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 for, for the uh, organizations, uh, 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 particularly in the wartime period, uh, for, for the whole trade, I uh, would see the grassroots elites 
of Taiwanese join those organizations. And those agricultural green, uh, low, uh, grassroots agricultural organizations was actually the very uh, first uh, local agricultural organization for promoting trees uh, in, in the history of Taiwan. And uh, uh, the local elites was still quite active in the, in the uh, production and the distribution aspects for this trade. Uh, even though on, on the Manchuria side, the Japanese merchants uh, would have uh, more control. Because uh, on the Manchuria side, uh, Taiwanese people were not that many there, and a lot of Japanese there. So on that side, uh, Japanese uh, had, uh, had more control. But uh, in, on Taiwan side, uh, Taiwanese merchants was uh, still very active. Um, and uh, this kind of experience, it's kind of an international trade experience. The situation of Manchukuo is a kind of a complicated. Um, it's a puppet regime of Japan, but Japan says it's an independent state. And so, uh, when uh, going through this, uh, for, for engaging this trade, it, has to still go, it still has to go through customs. Mm. Uh, you know, the, uh, uh, at the Dalian, uh, or uh, particularly at Dalian, they have, still have to go to, uh, they do the custom reports. Now, uh, then uh, Manchukuo was a silver using monetary area, and Taiwan was a gold using monetary area. So, in, for when, when you go abroad, you need to encounter the problem for, for exchange, uh, the foreign currencies. So this uh, Taiwanese merchants also had to face uh, uh, the exchange issue for engaging in this trade. This is kind of inter international trade experience. And, uh, and uh, after the, the Japanese merchants uh, uh, initiated uh, so many uh, product exhibitions in Manchukuo, uh, uh, the Taiwanese merchants follow up, and uh, the Japanese uh, uh, government agencies went to uh, uh, understand the market. Uh, then the Taiwanese merchants also uh, had their own market survey afterwards. So th this are all um, accumulations of uh, international uh, trade um, uh, experiences. Um, so. Um, this is uh, uh, something which uh, should have some legacy for post-war Taiwan. You know post-war Taiwan, uh, I even up to now, it's a trade dependency, a dependency ratio was more than 100%. How come 100%? Because uh, uh, that uh, uh, ratio was uh, calculated by dividing export value plus uh, import value over uh, GNE. G uh, tot uh, uh, gross uh, national expenditure. Gross national expenditure has uh, the uh, the uh, ex uh, import minus uh, export, so uh, and then plus uh, uh, governmental expenditure and the inve investment expenditure and the consumption. That's why it's possible to be over one hundred percent. So the route for Taiwanese people's uh, international trade experience. Uh, it's very important for understanding uh, current Taiwan. And uh, in, in this process of uh, um, the enforcement of uh, Taiwan Manchukuo trade, we could see the accumulation of Taiwan, Taiwanese merchants' uh, uh, trade experience. But then, uh, and, uh, uh, for, for, uh, for what kind of Taiwanese merchants? These products are tea, sugar, uh, uh, oranges uh, and bananas. It's very gross rooted. And uh, from from uh, the previ previous previous uh, trade uh, situation, uh, as w as we have shown, there's already trade between Taiwan and um, Chinese mainland uh, in the Japanese colonial period. Those trade uh, we have uh, a maritime report study. 
um, uh, um, for the value of trade product exported to the Manchuria through the custom houses of Jilong and Kaohsiung. Here's Kaohsiung um, hidden behind. Almost the same, okay? I and mean, that means no, uh, for, for export, because Northern Taiwan had more oranges and tea. And so, so for export uh, to Manchuria, uh, in the uh, earlier session, it mentioned the North-South divide. Huh? And for this, North-South was equal for exporting things uh, to Manchuria. But, but uh, for import, the southern uh, Kaohsiung is this line, Jilong is this line. That means uh, southern Taiwan had more trade uh, with uh, Manchuria than northern Taiwan. Um, at the same time, uh, we have actually other charts. I, I, I didn't have time to get it here, but it, uh, basically, uh, Northern Taiwan's uh, trade was uh, uh, before Manchu War. Northern Taiwan's uh, trade uh, uh, with uh, Southern China was much more than Southern Taiwan. Okay, before Manchu War. So it means uh, after Manchu War, it, it increased more trade trading opportunities for Southern Taiwan, more grass rooted Taiwan. Okay, and um, and uh, for for. Northern Taiwan's trade with China, a lot of uh, trade was uh, um, re-export trade of uh, Japanese products uh, to China, uh, Chinese mainland. Uh, at that time, uh, we have to say China. But at that time, uh, Chinese mainland is Republic of China. You know, uh, so so uh, then uh, so you, you can see this uh, this Man uh, uh, um, uh, Taiwan trade increase more uh, opportunities uh, for local merchants, uh, particular, uh, from peasants uh, to traders. Hmm. Mm, they went directly to, to Manchuria to engage. And they are not only on production side, because they went there for exhibition, or for marketing, so uh, they they have the experience for for uh, engaging in trade uh, on the uh, the trading partners uh, area. Um, and then, uh, what, um, what about the, the this uh, Taiwanese merchant's identity? In some evidence, we can see when the. Uh, uh, Japanese government tried to uh, have uh, Taiwan produce uh, the particular kind of tea, uh, 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 which would uh, be liked by Manchuria consumers. Uh, it uh, it uh, uh, started to recruit people for this kind of uh, training uh, to produce a partic particular kind of uh, tea. We could see in that recruitment, the government says, uh, this kind of uh, uh, training would only be open to people who could conduct kokugo, who could speak Japanese. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, then, um, then the, so so uh, these uh, uh, traders uh, had to be more uh, linked up with uh, uh, Japan, and then. Um, then uh, uh, from when this uh, uh, let me see when this trade war, war proceeded, we could see a lot of uh, uh, Taiwanese happiness was uh, looted upon the mainlanders uh, bitterness um, because the Taiwan oranges. Uh, uh, they place uh, Shanghai oranges because Manchuria people used it to uh, import oranges from Shanghai. After Manchu War, instead they they used uh, uh, Taiwan's uh, oranges. And uh, uh, when Taiwan's tea was sold to Manchu War, the Manchuria area no more used uh, the Fujian tea, Anhui's tea, or Hunan's tea. 
uh, which they used uh, to use. Okay, and uh, and the, the the main harbor of uh, Manchuria uh, changed to be Dalian. And the Dalian replaced Inko. In the Inko days, the uh, the poor people have invested a lot of money on the tea mountains in Fujian, Anhui, and Hunan. This is a, in, a, a very tightened network, commercial network. Then Dalian, uh, together with the Taiwanese merchants, constituted another trade network to replace that trade network. Um, and uh, in this replacement, of course, uh, the political situation in between uh, changed things uh, uh, with uh, the outbreak of uh, uh, the Mokden incidents, um, the, the trade between uh, Chinese uh, in interior area with Manchuria directly decreased, and then the, uh, the tax rate, the custom, because then there's a cut. Manchuria was used. Uh, U Manchuria used to be part of China, but with the establishment of uh, Manchukuo, there's a customs in between, uh, and even though between Taiwan and Manchukuo, there's a still cu custom rate, custom uh, uh, revenue to be levied, but the, the tax rate is much lower uh, than the land rate between uh, uh, Chinese interior area and Manchuria. Okay, and then, um, so, and, and uh, what happened to uh, uh, China uh, with the laws of Manchuria? According to one monetary historian, Wang Yejian, um, China lost one third of its uh, uh, import revenue because of the laws of, uh, of uh, of Manchuria, which is uh, uh, which uh, constituted a great uh, economic threat to China in the depression period. You must know all this was engaged in the in the desperate depression period of early 1930s. Yeah, so so uh, China side was worse and worse, and the Taiwan side was better and better. Uh, so and then uh, with. Uh, this kind of uh, development at the very beginning, the Taiwanese merchants uh, was um, hesitant to follow up the Japanese government or Japanese merchants. But because Japan, uh, Taiwanese products, uh, for example, when Taiwanese products was sold to Southeast Asia, it's labeled as uh, Japanese products. And then, because of uh, the Mark Dan incident or Mark Polo Bridge incident, the Southeast Asian Overseas Chinese, which share the key uh, economic uh, share of the Southeast Asian uh, economy, they no more purchase Taiwanese products because it's a Japanese, and they turn to be anti-Japanese, right? Because of uh, Mark Dan, because of Marco Polo, the overseas Chinese, no more Japanese products. So the Taiwanese merchants had to follow up uh, the, the, uh, the Japanese government or Japanese merchants to, to extend their uh, trade with Manchuria. Okay? Okay, then. Uh, with uh, the greater and greater laws uh, of other, uh, also the southern China, as we show, the southern China's uh, relation with uh, Taiwan declined, right? Both are uh, the, the same as Southeast Asia. Uh, because of uh, Japanese event I I invasion upon, upon China, then Taiwan uh, lost more and more market in this area. Then Taiwanese had to make it up in Manchuria. Uh, in the end, uh, for some tea merchants son, the Mark Dan incident and the Marco Polo Bridge incident 
has actually holy war, whatever. Because the material market is much bigger than the lowest market. So, um, uh, from, from this study, we could realize the during the Sino-Japanese War period, uh, Taiwanese uh, vested interest was uh, very much tied up with the Japanese uh, Empire, which is uh, very much contradictory of uh, taking advantage of the Chinese side. So this is a story. And then, so um, this part of uh, history, could you expect that the Taiwanese would speak up about this cooperative uh, uh, with the Japanese situation in the post-1945 period? They will not speak up about this, right? But they, they have failed it. They have been very much um, intertwined with the Japanese Empire before 1945. And after 1945, the Republic of China's government they carried the, the war experience against Japan. So they just carry that memory, historical memory with Japan to rule over Taiwan. What, what, what's the actual process of uh, February 28th? Actually, um, for many, many uh, uh, cases uh, this cross up to now, for many situations, because some couple speak Japanese at home, and the neighbors say they are uh, betraying the government. So they accuse that couple to the court. And the judge of the court uh, they tend to be anti-Japanese. So this constitutes uh, the trial and the sentence and the massacre, right? So, uh, Ultimately, without Jiang Tai She, without Chen Yi, this is still a very difficult problem for post war Taiwan. For the uh, majority of the population, uh, with their uh, vested interests, had been so much intertwined with the Japanese Empire. And uh, for the minority people, uh, but they have been ruling over Taiwan, and they had been so much uh, invaded by Japan. This, uh, so here, uh, uh, I provide other routes for Taiwan's uh, ethnic congruence in the post-war period, which, which is uh, some problem uh, that Taiwan still have to tackle today. It doesn't end with uh, February 28th, uh, 1947. Uh, with that day, it's uh, still very much with Taiwan today. It, it, it affects our uh, perception about the Jiao Yitai or about a lot of other things. So we could discuss all of this together. Or uh, maybe uh, I, I had been sitting here this morning uh, for the geography textbook uh, uh, session and the history textbook session. Actually, and all of them uh, could be discussed uh, together. Uh, in the following uh, uh, period. Thank oh, you. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, it's also tying with tomorrow's uh, topic, uh, uh, the politics of identity. So, you know, um, thank you so much for this fantastic talk and, and, and brings quite a lot of insights, uh, especially some area that we don't usually pay attention to. So, I think... Uh, I don't think you want to have a rest, or maybe we just carry on with the q and It's up to you. Oh, okay. I think quite a lot of uh, questions already. Um, um, Josh, um, you want any? 
Yes, and David, and Michael, and Desmond. So maybe we take four first. Joe? Yes, please. No, or fine. just be up. No, that's fine. I was just saying go for it. Uh, I was just saying we don't need a break. Yes, yes. It. Uh, I'm asking you to, to, to ask a question now. I, I didn't raise my hand. I just said go for it. Oh, <laughs> go for it. Oh, I'm so sorry. And who's next? Oh, David? Yes? Uh, okay. Uh, Uh, thanks, uh, Professor Lee, for a, a fascinating lecture. I think it was really interesting to, to kind of reveal a kind of a, a, almost a hidden history mm. of, of Taiwan. I think that was, uh, I'm glad I kind of pushed you to, to, look at, to talk about that topic, but I think there were some interesting links between uh, both your lectures, and, and you really uh, touched upon that right at the end, this, the root of the ethnic problems and how that ties in with the um, divergent positions on, for, for example, Diao Yutai. And also the, the very different perceptions of the Diao, Diao, Diao Yutai uh, uh, question in China and Taiwan. And a lot of this, again, is down to these kind of historical uh, memories. But the, um, the one question I, I wanted to ask specifically, particularly on the second lecture, was about the human relationships between uh, Taiwanese uh, and people in, uh, in Manchuria. What, what was the relationship like? To what extent um, were Taiwanese merchants, for example, discriminated against uh, by, let's say, uh, Chinese nationalists? Or, uh, and, I, and it must have been an issue after 1945. They, would they have been accused of being um, um, collaborators, for example? And it must have been even worse after 1949. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, can I answer that yes, question? Sorry, uh, so this one? Yes. Yes, it's on. It's on already? Yes. Okay, um, uh, thank you for Professor Davi to have uh, mentioned these two aspects. Actually, it's covered in the paper, uh, but I, I, I just didn't have time to go, to go through it. Um, for the Taiwanese situation in Manzhou, it's much more comfortable than in southern China. Um, because uh, uh, in southern China, when they actually the Taiwanese merchants uh, uh, was um, was uh, economic leaders in southern China, but on the other hand, uh, they they uh, were, would be suspected. Yeah, so so uh, there's uh, the so-called what the rascals. Some Taiwanese merchants were called uh, uh, langren, uh, rascals uh, in southern China. And uh, when they, they did uh, opium business, uh, they uh, had to commit a crime. But in Manzhou, the Manzhou government encouraged the Taiwanese merchants to have the open complaints. Uh, and in Manzhou, they directly speak in Japanese. Uh, in, in, in southern China or even in Shanghai, Shanghai uh, before the Shanghai incident, uh, they they uh, spoke um, uh, Chinese. After the Shanghai incident, they, they changed to speak uh, Japanese. So uh, that's the situation um, uh, of Taiwanese uh, uh, in different places of China. And uh, for Taiwanese uh, in Manchuria after 1949, some of them were killed because of their deep cooperation with uh, the Japanese uh, government. But some some returned to Taiwan because uh, uh, about uh, uh, one thousand people, uh, Taiwanese went to Manchuria. Uh, they they uh, had been uh, electric engineer uh, because in Manzhou a lot of electricity uh, had been developed, and uh, they also uh, uh, went there as doctors. Um, and many of them uh, returned to Taiwan to join the post-war Taiwan's uh, um, uh, uh, development. Hmm. Next. Michael. Uh, yes, I, I've put this point several times before, but um, there's a, as you know, I studied the British uh, attitude to the uh, Japanese period through the uh, consular records, which is yeah. full of a lot of useful information. And addressing this to your final section, um, in 1938, the consul reported back a very interesting phenomenon. Now, 1938 would mean 
there was quite a um, distinction between those who could remember the Japanese it coming in, 19, in 1895 and the younger generation who couldn't. And it said of the younger, while the older generation uh, in their 50s and 60s were very anti-Japanese, nevertheless, the younger generation um, knew where their future might lie and many actually hoped for a Japanese victory in China, after which they could go and be proconsuls and intermediaries with their Japanese language and Chinese. And while at the same time knowing if they stayed in Taiwan, they wouldn't get any jobs under the Japanese in Taiwan. So there was this cultural uh, split pointing to the fact that the younger generation was by no means so, so anti-Japanese. And as we know, many circles. Yeah, the, for the overseas uh, Chinese in Southeast Asia, oh, some of them were under the rule of uh, the British government. Um, there's a better uh, generation gap. Uh, we have some other scholars who work on this uh, topic. Uh, it has been perceived that uh, the older gen uh, generation were more uh, anti-Japanese, the younger generation were more cooperative with the Japanese. And uh, um, for for uh, Southeast Asian as a whole, um, maybe it's a it's a common knowledge for Southeast Asian studies uh, scholars because of uh, Japanese uh, uh, kicking off the the old colonizers, including uh, Britain, uh, the the Dutch, uh, India, and uh, and all the France, and actually they help the Japanese helped the later independence of these countries. So uh, um, uh, in the recent, in the recent uh, June, uh, June 4th uh, mass meeting, uh, I, I just watched BBC's um, uh, uh, Chinese page. It says uh, uh, in Asia right now, uh, many it's uh, PRC China uh, or Korea tend to be more anti-Japanese. For the other area, they are not that much anti-Japanese. Desmond, and later. Desmond first, sorry. Uh, thank you, Professor Lin. Uh, my question is, uh, I would like to ask about the, the previous section on the, on the uh, international law issue. Um, so, so if if the if it according to the, to the, the treaties is when Japan is uh used to have uh the uh renounce uh Taiwan Korea and so it seems to me that that means that 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 has hasn't mentioned where where the sovereignty of of Korea and and, and Taiwan will be so, so. So technically, is it is it uh in that period be, be, before the ROC and and Japan signed any treaty? In that the the, the, the the no international law guiding the the, the ROC uh recapture uh ROC captures of, of Taiwan. And my second question, uh, I would like to ask. So, if uh. Taiwan declared independence, and and how about the 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 the, the sovereignty of uh, of uh, the territory in Taiwan will it be affected, or, or how how of these international law can apply, or 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 or, 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 or will, will be another story? Yeah. Uh, for the renunciation of uh, uh, Taiwan and Korea in Article Two of the San Francisco. This is all. Oh, okay. Uh, in the San Francisco Peace Treaty, actually for, for Korea, the Article 2 also says uh, uh, Korea could gain independence. Uh, so uh, there's more for Korea in San Francisco Peace Treaty. How about for, for Taiwan? Actually, uh, the uh, common, uh, common uh, 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 assertion about that Fang Qi we go together with, well, there's no object because neither uh, ROC or PRC went to San Francisco. So uh, that, uh, that resulted in the uh, unsettled uh, position uh, for Taiwan's status. 
But actually, uh, that kind of uh, assertion is only based upon Article 2. If we go to Article 4 and Article 26, uh, we will understand that um, uh, 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 even though ROC was not uh, in San Francisco, there are some uh, preparatory uh, uh, terms uh, for, for the later signature uh, of a peace treaty between Japan and uh, ROC in Taiwan in 1952. Article 4 says uh, for the um, territories uh, renounced in Article 2, Japan accepts what the, the Japanese, um, what the, the U.S. military government uh, decided for those uh, territories. You know, the, the uh, um, uh, as a, uh, uh, acceptance of uh, Japanese uh, uh, final government general's uh, surrender in Taipei was uh, engaged under the order of uh, MacArthur, la, the, the order number one. That's a um, uh, U.S. military government's uh, uh, decision. So Japan had to accept that. That, that order is uh, uh, the Republic of China to have accepted uh, the uh, surrender of, uh, of a Japanese, um, Japanese army. And Article 26 says, uh, for those countries who had war with, uh, with Japan and uh, without the chance to, to, have, uh, the, uh, to sign the peace treaty in San Francisco, uh, they are supposed to, uh, in case uh, they are following the principle of the United Nations, uh, that principle is a peace-loving principle. That means that the PRC does not s satisfy this condition. And, uh, and, uh, and also, uh, it used to be uh, UN founding countries. Uh, that country uh, uh, is supposed to sign um, the uh, treaty with uh, Japan with uh, legal efficacy, the same as the San Francisco Peace Treaty. That, uh, the, the, uh, the coming treaty was the treaty uh, signed between the uh, Republic of China in Taiwan and, uh, and the Japan uh, on, on um, April 28, uh, 1952. You know, it's uh, seven and a half hours after that signature that uh, the U.S. made the San Francisco Peace Treaty turn effective. Without the uh, turning uh, in effective uh, of that peace treaty, Japan would not have regained its sovereignty. It would still be under the control of MacArthur. So uh, these two packages were very much were tightly linked with uh, each other. And that, that, that's uh, for the renowned things. And then if Taiwan declared uh, independence, uh, 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 then what's uh, the legal rights uh, Taiwan could have uh, for Diao Yu Taiwan or anything else, then it loses every right. Because on the treaty, it says directly, it's the Republic of China. And um, uh, so for someone who, who would still say, well, uh, in the Taipei Treaty, uh, the sovereignty, the the wording of sovereignty was not there. But you have to read uh, the, the, the uh, uh, legal uh, words more carefully. Because Article 2 of the um, Taipei Treaty followed, uh, actually copied the Article 2 of the uh, San Francisco Treaty. In that article, uh, it says uh, Japan renounced every right, claims, or uh, uh, another term. Everything about the Taiwan, uh, Japan renounce that everything, we have to go back to the Shimono Seki Treaty that I just showed you, is a full sovereignty. Yeah, of course, uh, Japan's right uh, uh, gained from Shimono Seki Treaty. We have to go back to Shimono Seki Treaty. That's uh, full sovereignty, Taiwan's full sovereignty. Uh, other than that, uh, um, in Article 10 of the Taipei Treaty, uh, for, for inhabitants upon uh, Taiwan, no matter what time they get into Taiwan, they have to turn into the subjects of Republic of China according to the law of Republic of China. Okay, then on the uh, date, on the day of uh, turning into effect of the Taipei Treaty, that's uh, August 5th, 1952, Japan started to set up it's an embassy, Japan's embassy to Republic of China 
on 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 uh, uh, the second section of uh, Zhongshan North Road, uh, near to what what uh, uh, right now is a there's a Huanan uh, Bank there. Uh, you see, you, you see this term, Japan Zhu Zhonghua Mingguo Da Shi Guan, the Japanese embassy to uh, to Republic of China, embassy. You just had uh, that the capital in Nanjing. Embassy should be at the capital of a government. So no problem about the capital issue uh, in uh, legally. It has been. Solved in 1932 is an ideological problem, which is keep the turning nagging that the uh, Republic of China's capital is still in Nanjing. In reality, it's already in uh, Taipei. Okay, this is one thing. Huh? 1952, August 5th. Uh, and then, and the embassy is a guest to uh, any country, right? Japan, when while Taiwan was owned by, by Japan, Japan was the owner, and uh, this is uh, this date, this uh, turning into effective date of the Taipei Treaty was the date that uh, uh, Japan turned from the owner of Taiwan into the guest of Taiwan. Of course, the sovereignty had been shifted, and for for the independence camp, you give up everything about this, uh, uh, based upon all these uh, laws, and um, uh, the. Now, this law had been actually is a law of uh, of uh, Republic of China. If I, I am going to be the president of Republic of China someday, I will put all these uh, uh, people into jail. How come all this all this uh, this uh, great huge uh, population of Taiwanese don't follow this law? You know, treaty is different from declaration because. It has to go back to your home country to be ratified. That ratification process is the same as your lawmaking process. According to the Constitution of Republic of China, it, it has to go through executive yuan and legislative yuan and the uh, president, and is uh, the president to proclaim uh, this law. And uh, this treaty has been proclaimed by Jiang Kai-she on August 9th. So th this is a domestic law for Republic of China today. And then it, uh, it has been registered because uh, the UN charters say for any treaties signed among countries, if you don't register at the UN, the UN would not recognize it. So uh, this treaty uh, is, uh, is uh, recorded in that uh, uh, Chiang Kai-shek proclamation on August 9th. This treaty had uh, signed, uh, registered at the UN, and when we look up uh, UN's uh, website, is uh, e easily to be located. Uh, when we go to UN website, this uh, treaty had been registered as uh, number 1858 of the 1952 treaties of UN. So if you change your your name, you just change everything. You just lost everything. And what about um, everyone in the world call, call you as Taiwan? How come you still stick with ROC? Okay? And then uh, UN, UN say, well, you could change your name. If you are the member of UN, you could certainly change your national name. So only after you get, uh, get back to UN, you could make this action. Okay, we got Dr. King. Thank you, Professor Lin. Uh, I'm S.Y. Kim from Sheffield University. Uh, I have less expertise about uh, Taiwan-Japan PRC relations, but uh, I'd like to ask a question regarding current Japanese perception of a dr issue. Uh, I read Japanese media and watch TV, but according to what I find there is the kind of uh, legal historical ground you uh, explained today is not very explained at all. Uh, current Japanese media, uh, the discourse there is the assertive PRC is encroaching upon uh, Japan's proper sovereign area of the, uh, Senkaku Island. And uh, have you made any effort to, or Taiwanese or PRC made an effort to change public knowledge and perception within Japan over this issue with the grounds 
historical legal ground you uh, spelled out today. And another question, related question is, uh, in history we know that the uh, Japanese public has been sometimes uh, had difficulty in getting the right uh, information, like after Manchurian incident, the Japanese public believed that it was really provoked by the Chinese, and Japan was acting on the cause of self-defense. Uh, what do you think about the current perception in Japan over this issue? Although it would be ideal, I would say that if you had another Japanese presenter about this issue. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, Actually, I had been uh, in Japan twice uh, <laughs> uh, to have a uh, uh, speak up uh, the Tai uh, understanding of me uh, there. Um, uh, for the paper, right uh, uh, in the first time, uh, it has been rendered into English. So if you go to Japan Focus, as an Asia Pacific journal. Uh, English journal uh, is an e journal, uh, but under my, uh, with my name, uh, if you Google Man Hong Lin and Japan Focus, uh, it comes up. My my paper rendered into English for the first uh, uh, conference paper um, uh, presentation. Uh, that conference was actually held, uh, sponsored by both uh, the diplomatic officer. Uh, of our seaside and the Japan side. And on that uh, visit, I also went to the Japan uh, Congress uh, to forward my message to, uh, to um, two congressmen. Um, uh, that's for the first, uh, first uh, visit. Uh, second visit, uh, second uh, uh, paper presentation was in Tokyo University. And that conference was held by uh, Tokyo University with uh, uh, many other uh, uh, universities in Japan. And uh, this few days, uh, not only I have to be busy with this PPT for these two talks, I have to be busy with um, uh, the, the paper publication uh, in Iwanami Shoten. Uh, that the conference organizer is going to uh, 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 publish the uh, proceedings uh, at uh, Iwanami Shoten. So um, I, I would think this is really something uh, 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 to, uh, to be solved among East Asian countries because um, East Asian countries uh, have a lot of uh, other aspects to be cooperated. Uh, we cannot uh, interfere those uh, uh, cooperation possibilities with uh, this uh, minor thing. This thing for me up to now is uh, very minor. Even, even the tension uh, in between right now is uh, so big. So I, I do think, um, um, because I have a long-term friendship with the Japanese uh, academic uh, uh, world, I, I do think uh, Japan would, uh, could be persuaded. Um, can I ask some questions? Um, one is about the, uh, um, uh, the, the second uh, lecture, you, you talk about specifically on the trade between uh, Taiwan and Manchukuo. And I was just wondering why focus on Manchuria, uh, not among all these colonies, which means uh, how about Taiwan's trade with uh, Korea? There must be a, a significance there that you chose this to present to us. Can you also explain a little bit about, uh, for example, Japanese, uh, sorry, Taiwan's trade with the Southeast Asia under Japanese rule during that period? Before answering your question, it reminds me that I have to answer the second question of this uh, Japanese scholar about the background for Markdown incident. Uh, for the um, back, uh, the the uh, because uh, I'm basically an economic historian, so my friends uh, uh, would uh, refer to that the Great Depression uh, for the background. Uh, so this is some. Uh, not only this friend, but also other Japanese friends uh, would refer to the Japanese, uh, to the Great Depression for the ultimate uh, um, uh, reason for the Markdown incident. And then, okay, uh, for your question, actually I have been very much uh, influenced by your big China map. I grew up in Taiwan, okay? And then uh, when I Study at Harvard, uh, um, 
between um, uh, my stay at Harvey uh, extended between uh, 1980 to 83, and then from 88 to 89. My years uh, there had been very much uh, first um, uh, academically okay, but uh, um, emotionally very bad because. Uh, I feel that it's such a valuable opportunity to to study abroad, and uh, uh, I, 1980 is right after 1979 when uh, ROC and the U.S. Uh, civil the diplomatic relationship. Ours in Taiwan had been so poor, and so our people out out of the country should co should be more cooperative. How come these two groups of people uh, have always been fighting with each other? I think you must have this kind of experience right now. No, no, no. Um, people have to be divided. But what are they, are, uh, they are saying, when, when they make their assertion, uh, history will be related. Before that, uh, I had already published uh, some book uh, about Taiwan history. So, so I, I have a feeling that the both camps have been talking something um, wrong. For history, so uh, after Harvard's work, Harvard's work are, are mostly on Chinese history, and because I started from Taiwan history and then moved to uh, Chinese history. After Harvard, I moved back uh, to to Taiwan history, um, because my my first Taiwan history book is about trade, so I continue to work on trade, because every scholar has to be very careful. Uh, to 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 keep at a very firm stand, and, um, to keep the 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 iron board, right? Iron board, the uh, 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 so so iron rice bowl. Okay, then then uh, I stick with the trade. Then I have already worked on leaching trade already. Then I have to continue to the Japanese colonial period, and for dealing with this uh, this uh, cross China uh, Taiwan Strait issue. I started from Taiwan's trade with the Chinese mainland in the Japanese colonial period. And um, in this study, the trade with Manchuria was so vivid. So then I, 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 I extended to work on this uh, Taiwan Manzhou uh, Guo trade. And this is the background. Uh, the, the research was made in 1995. Uh, it's uh, it's the only reason that I rendered it into English. Um, so the original research was made in 1995. Then, then it's uh, it's at the uh, uh, outcome um, upon the outcome research outcome of this uh, Taiwan Manzhou trade. I started to write newspaper articles. Uh, before that, I always write very long, uh, very lengthy academic papers. But uh, uh, from then onward, I think I should uh, speak up. You know, the the first article I publish is what? There's an, uh, no, Li Dunhui is not wrong to say that uh, he was a Japanese before he was uh, uh, 22 years old. I remember on that date, um, uh, our history association in Taiwan uh, of the Republic of China had some annual gathering. They, they were so surprised. How come? A historian of the Republic of China could say they have a president uh, uh, used to be a Japanese. <laughs> uh, so much criticism uh, started to be upon us, upon me. Uh, but but uh, uh, it's okay. I, I have survived. Uh, <laughs> Maybe um, you can also elaborate a little bit about uh, what, what W was saying, because I was thinking maybe, uh, the, although it's true that those Langren maybe, um, well, be, they are gangsters or something, but I mean, those people who did business, are they really powerful? And how the proportion of them, are they really controlling the Taiwan trade to Manchu Manchuria, or actually still controlled by the uh, Japanese? Oh, yeah. Uh, that means. Can I ask a related kind of. Just a yeah. Yes, yes, follow up. To follow up. I mean, um, one of the things that also crossed my mind was what about um, people from uh, Manchu War in Taiwan? Because there must have been um, uh, Manchu War 
traders in Taiwan. But, 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 but my paper covers that area as well. Let me answer some of the, your questions. If not, uh, we can make it up um, for your previous questions about uh, the other colonies of, of uh, Japan. Actually, I have extended because uh, uh, why I started from Taiwan Chinese mainland is because you are a big China map. That, that that I have uh, I grew up with. So I firstly started with uh, uh, Taiwan uh, China trade, and then it sent to Manchuria, um, because Manchuria used to be part of China. Then my information, because of those uh, Japanese uh, materials were show at that time Taiwan was not only trading with uh, uh, Chinese men and uh, uh, Taiwan was uh, tra traded with uh, Korea, with uh, Southeast Asia, uh, with Hong Kong. So I extended uh, one by one. Uh, up to now, I have uh, every every area uh, covered because um, in in my research, I also found that uh, uh, Taiwan's trading partner is different from Japan's. Japan's trading partner co uh, covers uh, Brazil, a lot of uh, South America is uh, is uh, worldwide. Uh, Taiwan's trading partner just covered the uh, Asian, uh, mostly Great East Asian area. So I just covered the Great East Asian uh, area for my Taiwanese merchants trading uh, studies. And uh, for for the role of Taiwanese in all this trade, and the Japanese merchants or government, still, uh, as we analyze it, uh, particularly uh, in that period, um, actually the government share uh, could not compete with. Uh, ROC government's uh, share in, in wartime China. Because um, um, I have uh, some statistics to show that uh, most of the trade were made by Japanese merchants, particularly the Zaibazu. And that's the Zaibazu period. Uh, the the uh, Taiwan government general, uh, gov government, uh, what, what's the English word? Taiwan uh, Taiwan government. general. Go government, um, general. government general, and uh, just share a small percentage uh, in the whole trade. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, the Zaibazu to be more influential, and uh, for for those uh, Taiwanese, uh, the big merchants uh, uh, could serve as the the chairman of the chamber of commerce in Xiamen. and uh, for the big uh, uh, infrastructure in in southern China. Uh, the uh, Taiwanese capital uh, went there uh, uh, by using Japanese know-how. For example, they they have the Osaka uh, railway uh, technicians uh, to help them to invest in San Suato's uh, railway. Uh, this kind of a pattern had been there. And for rascals, uh, of course, uh, uh, some rascals were there, and they turned and they they had been whitened up. Because uh, they earn money and widen up into uh, big merchants, uh, particularly in that time. You know, at that time, the, if you've um, seen those photos, uh, those uh, uh, rascals could be very much dressed up uh, in those years in the photos. Uh, <laughs> I just uh, wonder because you mentioned about the, uh, the uh, trades were much more under control of the uh, Japanese government in Manchuria. But why such a difference between, uh, you know, the, the, the trade? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah but, uh, for, for the shipping lines that I described, um, and, uh, 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 mostly they are uh, called uh, command navigation lines. Right. Uh, 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 it's uh, commanded by the Japanese government. Uh, for the shipping lines between Taiwan and uh, Japan proper, not necessarily to be command uh, navigation lines. So this trade, as I sum, sum, summarize, is uh, made by visible hand rather than by invisible hand. Hmm. Okay. And because of the war, war purpose. Hmm. Right. And George? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. finally. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd like to ask a question about uh, trade, but in terms of the future, well, the, the present and looking to the future, do you feel like uh, currently Taiwan or the Taiwanese government is 
too focused on trading with uh, mainland China? And should Taiwan be looking to other emerging markets like India or Brazil or other nations? Or is it pursuing the right kind of strategy at the moment? Um, actually, I have one book about Taiwan's uh, legal status. Uh, oh, oh, oh uh, in another way, you could also Google uh, Man Honing uh, Japan Focus. Uh, there are two articles there uh, up to now. The second article, article is about Diao Yitai, as I mentioned. The first article is about Liu Q in Taiwan on the East Asian seas. Uh, uh, Liu Q was, uh, as I have shown, uh, is very near to Taiwan. But uh, Taiwan almost uh, forgot that place uh, used to have a kingdom, Liu Qiu Kingdom. Uh, that uh, kingdom existed when Taiwan just had uh, the uh, scattered tribes of the aborigines, because uh, the golden age of that kingdom extends from 14th century to 17th century. Uh, those uh, islands were mostly uh, rocky islands. Uh, rocky, uh, uh, very rocky. Um, so coral, coral uh, made of corals. Uh, 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 so it, it cannot compete with uh, with uh, Taiwan for natural resources. How come it appear one kingdom while Taiwan just had the tribes? Because uh, Liu Qiu used to play the role of Asia Pacific center. For, for East Asian seas in that uh, 300 years. And later, it lost the, this kind of uh, uh, entrepot uh, position. So uh, um, it prepared the, the decline and the disappearance of uh, that kingdom. So I would say, actually, I, I would like to attend your yesterday's uh, discussion because of this PPT preparation. I dare not come. Actually, I have a lot of words about uh, about the, the 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 students' movement. Um, actually, uh, Taiwan do need to trade. Of course, uh, and the, the more trade, the better, and not only the China trade. But how, how come every country in the world could trade with uh, China? How come uh, Republic of China? We are brothers. How come we cannot trade with them? Mm. Because Taiwan up to now still don't know their legal status. The ultimate reason is this. Um, uh, up to now, uh, the whole population has not been taught about the, this treaty. Well, as I say, it's a law of uh, your country, but you don't know about that law. Uh, this is a, a very uh, keen problem for Taiwan. Uh, if you do not uh, uh, handle well, uh, you might be uh, some forgotten uh, kingdom. Uh, in some future days, um, it will be the forgotten uh, Republic of China in Taiwan. Hmm. So uh, Taiwan really has, has to be on its uh, right track. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, now, can I go back to Diao Yutai? <laughs> okay, good, good. Yes. <laughs> because it, it, it's been in the news, and uh, we have seen, you mentioned that it could be very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And we have seen some very remarkable um, development in Japan, Japan side. They are actually talking about maybe they need to spend an army again. Um, that would be like almost like a brand new development, uh, um, break away from what has been said uh, since World War II, the end of World War II. And uh, Obama also has this new South Asian strategy. And on China side, they are declaring some kind of air defense um, zone. So um, with your understanding in type with Japan, can you, um, and also of course with, on the Chinese side, do you foresee something actually, not just escalation of Posturing and then um, lip service, and, and but actual war may break out at some point. Mm, up to now, I'm I'm uh, only a scholar. <laughs> you know, 
uh, in my application to the National Science Foundation of, uh, of uh, Republic of China for this study, it had been rejected. So all of this uh, research had been done by my own uh, uh, sense of uh, obligation as an uh, intellectual of uh, this, uh, this time period. So, so uh, it's difficult, uh, but uh, I think um, it, it, all those uh, materials and international laws really make sense. Uh, uh, when, when, when I um, firstly presented my paper in Japan, uh, the, it's called the uh, Asia Pacific Forum. Uh, the uh, discussion comes from Mizui Company. Um, it says, well, um, um, this argument had a lot of, uh, um, um, uh, it's a substantially, uh, the argument ha had been substantially made, and then uh, uh, Japan really have uh, much more uh, things to take away, uh, uh, to, to, to uh, um, go ahead. Japan really need to go ahead. Uh, without uh, being uh, stumbled, uh, stumbled by this issue. So uh, I do think that kind of aspiration uh, is, uh, is very much uh, uh, in, in people in East Asia. Hmm. And uh, the PRC people were there, and they were happy with uh, this kind of a document, uh, argument as well, because both sides right now is uh, this side say uh, this is theirs, and uh, this side say this is theirs. Uh, now I, I open some other alternative. This is uh, ROCs uh, rather than PRCs uh, or Japan's. Okay. Mm. Well, on that note, <laughs> thank you so much. It's really fantastic and really fascinating topics. And we will have 10 minutes a break, but however, let's have another round of applause. And thanks very much for your fantastic talk.